Here at last, onto a first decent target, and as you can see there, onto a coin. Welcome back to another video and as you can see I'm back out detecting three days into the new year and uh, already had this is my second dig so uh, yeah I was on here before if you didn't see my last video and uh, had quite success I had um, some Roman stuff and um, Tudor medieval um, yeah just step back and have a look at the video I'll probably leave the link just up here but um, yeah, back on it. Let's see what we're going to get today. So uh, join me at the first, guys. Okay, at last, onto a first decent target. And as you can see there, onto a coin. Yep, it's not a button. All right, let's clean this up. There we go. Cleaned up, I haven't got a clue. Who on earth is that? Front side. Right, that needs more cleaning up home, but probably won't get an idea of that. But yeah, it's a different one. Right, on to the next one. Reading it quite thin, which was 20 something. We have a um, thimble. First one this year. A bit battered. But yeah, it's a thimble. Probably 1800s. Okay, next fine. Reading it at 32. I think we've got a little token here, a little lead token. Yeah, I reckon that's medieval, medieval token. You can see some lines crisscross. Yeah, I like that. Nice. Okay, we're on to another coin. 70, reading at 74. It looks like a George the Third, I believe. You can't really see much on that. Yeah, once again, it's a Georgian coin anyway. So 17, 1800s. Just see a G there. Um, yeah, I'll say George the Third. What do you make of this? I can honestly say I've had loads and loads of buttons, hundreds and hundreds, but I haven't had a button like that. That's really nice and old. I like that. Man on the right. Crown, little crest. Yeah. You ever see one like that, guys? If you have, please leave a comment below. Okay, we've got another nice find here. If you watched my last video, we had a lovely lead weight. Turned out it was a Roman steel yard weight. But uh, yeah, found another miniature version. Now, what do you make of that? Could well be Roman again. Hole at the top. Yeah, it's about third or fourth I've had from this field. I mean, I'll get excited with these just as much as a hammered corner or something. But yeah, that's a really good find. I've had this um, red kite flying above me. Just caught a lovely, nice mouse as well. They're massive. Anyway, back to the On to another hole. Nice little coin down here. Hope it's not a button. Yeah, that's a coin. Straight away, whoa, what have we got here? Looking to the left. Yeah, bear with me, clear this one up. 
Yeah, what we got is a George the second, I believe. George the second half penny. Quite a good dink as well. Seventeen hundred and something. Okay, you're reading it at 74 again, so that's a steady um, sign that it's going to be a coin. Yeah, and we're straight onto a coin. However, it's quite spent again, as smooth as anything. So, uh, yeah, it's a half penny size. Probably, I don't know, it's hard to tell. But I would say it could be George II again, 1700 or something. Okay, up next um, is a unusual piece of lead weird shape I don't know about all you diggers out there but when you come across lead and you find bits like this do you try and turn it round and say oh it's this it's that it looks like this and it's probably just a blob of lead but yeah it's interesting because I do um, every time I see something I see a face or an animal but yeah I think in this this instance it's just a blob yeah, of lead something a bit different now just found that is that a lead bag seal? It's made of lead and there's a pattern on it, writing and stuff. Very delicate actually. When I saw it like that, it looks like a um, part of a ring. But yeah, I think that's a, an old bag seal. Yeah, very nice. Happy with that. And I will see you on the next hole, guys. Okay, on to the next signal. What'd you make of that? That's what's come up next. At first, I thought it was a belt buckle. Now I'm not not that sure. Obviously, a bit's broken off down here. But it's lovely design on it. Very unusual. But yeah, I like that. Been a cracking day so far. Okay, we have a coin ball situation here. Hoping it's a coin and not a button. Yeah, that's a coin. Yeah, George the third half penny. Okay, this one was quite close to surface. Got a little coin here. Tiny little thing. With not much detail on there. Quite thin. I don't think I want to get much of that. Okay, next little we find. Is a book clasp or well, shoe clasp? Could be either book clasp or shoe clasp for uh, clogs. Probably 1700s, I would say. Ultra thin. Okay, we're on to a nice button. Earlier, you saw me get one of these but it wasn't silver this time it's silver well it looks silver yeah it wasn't me who found it this time it's uh, my helper Harry cheer up Harry but yeah nice little find that's two of these buttons now I just need to date them Well, I'm just digging. This is, um, look at the damage the rats are doing. A rat hole there, 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 everywhere. Just need to bring my gun up here, I think. Okay, next up is a library button or livery button, however you want to pronounce it. We 1700s. This field is littered with um, seven, stuff from the 1700s. Yeah, 
or is it a different um, picture on there? Definitely something on there, quite an old button. Yeah, I'd say 1700s. Okay, this one was hard to find. Got a nice buckle complete with the pin, and that's how small it is. A bit of garter buckle or something like that. But yeah, that's nice. We're getting to another little find. It's got a little pattern on it. It's probably this is probably for um, a door and a key, I'd say. Key excrucian. Well, that looks quite old. Okay, we've been having many, many buttons today, but we haven't had a musket ball. What happens? We've just come across one. Yeah, that looks battered as well. It's quite a big, chunky one. That. Seventeen hundreds again, guys, boys and girls. Okay, I thought I had something old here. <laughs> just found it. I thought, God, what's that? Scratched it off. It's not that old at all. It's fooled off a tractor or something. Okay, I'm going to make this my last target on the way back to the car. It's quite dark now, actually, but um, just found that and it looks like old World War One tank core. That looks like a World War One tank um, cat badge. I won't clean up here. I'll clean up at home, but yeah, it looks um, like a First World War tank. And if it is, it's a tank core World War One. Absolute brilliant fun. We'll be fine another day. You can see there six coins and a token today. Georgia second, Georgia third coins. Yeah, it's between sixty, well, seventeen hundreds mainly. Yeah, a um, book class, or I'd say nice token. Steel yard weight, one of my favourites. Not as big as the Roman one I had the other day, but it's nice. A lovely tank core, raw tank core badge. World War Two era. Ford badge, 1950s. Brass one. Quite collectible as well. Bag seal. Nice little uh, buckle. That would have been a stunning buckle, that would have been. Yeah, and then um, them two buttons as well there. One silver and one... Um, don't know what that's made of. Okay then, uh, folks, that's the end of the video. Thanks very much for watching. And as always, please leave a thumbs up on the way out if you enjoyed it. Um, the subs, yeah, subs are coming in thick and fast now. I've got, what, nearly two and a half thousand, uh, over a quarter million views on this channel. 120 videos uploaded. So yeah, it's uh, ticking along nicely. But please help me, support this channel. Really appreciate it. Okay, so um, stay safe, happy hunting. I'll catch you guys very shortly.